Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Collaborator Showcase. I hope you'll stick around to see what each of my collaborators created with the March 2021 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. One of the things that I like to do each month is stop by and share with you a look at each of the sets of the cards that my collaborators created and shared on the second of the month. I think this is a great way to get lots of different inspiration using the same sheet load. Today in this showcase, you are not going to see one set of cards that looks like another. And you're also going to see some ways that the collaborators have made sheet load their own. After watching the showcase today, if you want to get any more details on any of the projects, like always, everybody's YouTube channels, Instagram accounts, and blogs are linked in the description box below. Now, speaking of Instagram accounts, if you follow me on Instagram, which I am at callmecraftyow, you already saw a sneak peek at my new collaborator graphic, I guess you could call it. I decided that I wanted to put together one image of all of my team members so I could share it here on my YouTube channel and over on Instagram. I am still finalizing it, but up on screen now is a look at it. And if you want to visit my Instagram account, I have tagged each of my collaborators in that and you might find some new creators that you want to start following over there. I do want to stop and take a minute to recognize my collaboration team. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I know that Sheetload would not be the success it is without your help. Each month you come and you inspire me and you inspire so many others with what you have created. I'm honored to have you on my team. I'm also honored this month to feature the set of cards that Sandy made and shared on her blog, Stampin' with Sandy. You might have noticed them in the thumbnail of this video, and I popped a picture up on screen now. Aren't they just gorgeous? Thanks, Sandy, for allowing me to use that. In front of me, here's a look at the first set of cards I created for March 2021. I decided to go with a masculine theme since I don't do those cards very often. And I have the debut video and the process video linked in the description box below. In the debut video, you can get more information on the March 2021 sheet load of cards and find out how you can download it for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. In the process video, I show you exactly how I made these 12 cards and give you a couple tips along the way. And don't forget, if you want to show us your sheet load, I do have a couple hashtags at the top of each printable. So if you post either here on YouTube or over on Instagram, I would love for you to use those so I could see what you have created. Are you ready to see what my team created?
Before we move on to the Instagram team cards, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or the question of the video. I don't know about you, but I have really been enjoying asking these questions, answering them, and then learning more about you when you answer them as well. Today's question is, what is your favorite non-crafty YouTube channel? I am always on the lookout for some channels to subscribe to to add to my downtime playlist, so I would love to know your answer. Now if you don't really watch any non-crafty YouTube channels, maybe let me know a crafty YouTuber that you enjoy watching that maybe not everyone knows about. So maybe less than 5,000 subscribers. You know, I know we all love Jennifer McGuire, but she started small one day too, and I would love to have a new crafty YouTube channel to follow as well. If you do share your answer, make sure to leave it in the comment section below and add the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered the question and want me to see it. For myself, I do follow quite a few non-crafty channels and most of them are like true crime or reality television tea. I don't even know why because I rarely watch reality TV anymore. But a couple that I've discovered recently that I am into is Growing Up Polygamist and it's about a guy who is in the FLDS and he and his wife just answer questions about him growing up that way. And the second one that I enjoy is called That Chapter and I just love the guy's accent. I love his take on true crime and I swear that he has to pick cases that have the word three in them just so you can hear his fun accent say tree but I will link those channels below if you want to check them out as well. I know I say it every month, but wow, 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 wasn't that a fabulous showcase? Now I hope that if you haven't already, you'll go visit my collaborators and leave them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.